going to do to rebellious children? He's going to destroy them. Oh, it's time to repent. It's time to seek the Lord your God while he may be found. To turn from your darkness, your sinfulness, your lust, your covetousness, your lying, your rebellion against God. And to humble yourself before him. Oh, yes, you wave. But God says he's going to tell you, I don't know you on the day of judgment. Why? Because you've rejected God. You say you love God, and yet you reject his words. You cast his law behind your back. You say, oh, we're going to make a God after our own image. But God says he is not a God like you. Oh, you hypocrite. God says, judge righteous judgment. He tells you to judge not because you're not capable of judging. But I'm a spiritual woman, and therefore I can judge all things. I can judge that unless you repent, you will perish. I can judge that Jesus Christ is going to destroy you who love your sin. I can judge that if you continue on in rebellion against God, if you lesbians continue on lusting after one another, and committing indecent things which God says are not proper, then God's going to destroy you. But people, I've got good news for you. Oh, I'm here not because I want to see God destroy you in hell, but because I want to see God have mercy on you. See, Jesus Christ, who knew no sin, became sin for you, that you might be made the righteousness of God in him. But he commands you to repent. That means turn away from your standing in line to watch that which is evil and ungodly and turn unto Jesus Christ. Turn away from your love of this world, which God says is evil and ungodly, and turn unto the Lord that he might have mercy on you. Oh, that's right. If you would humble yourself, if you would turn from sin and turn to Jesus Christ, then he would show mercy upon you. But you guys don't want that. You say that God is altogether such a man as yourself, but he says he will rebuke you. He will set things in order before your face. Oh, God is going to repay you enemies of God to your faces. Most of you understand what that means. God says he is going to smash the teeth of the wicked. That's right, all you who love wickedness, all you who love lying, all you who love lust, all you who love fornication, all you who love homosexuality. God says the wages of your sin is death, and the wrath of God will be revealed against all your ungodliness, oh, all your unrighteousness. That's right. Every evil word you speak, every idle thought you have, you're going to be repaid on the judgment day. But people, there is somebody who took that wrath for you that you might not suffer it. It's the loving God whose face you spit in. It's Jesus Christ who died and rose again to take away your sins. It's Jesus Christ who gave himself for you that you might be made the righteousness of God in him. It's Jesus Christ whose blood has the power to cleanse you from your filthy, evil heart, your filthy, evil mind. Oh, there's a lot of women today. And I tell you, most of you women know how filthy your periods are. You cast those pads away from you. You cast those tampons away from you. But I'll tell you, you women, that you people who try to say that you're good people and try to stand before God on the basis of your own goodness are just like a woman who would store up every tampon she ever had rather than disposing of it and would try to offer it before Jesus Christ on the day of judgment and say, see all my good works? God says your good works are like tampons. Use tampons before God. Oh, it's a filthy thing. You think that your lives are good. You think that you're going to stand before God and you're going to be able to show him what a good person you are. But God says, no, even the things that you thought were loving, oh, they are idolatry. They are disgusting in my sight. And God says he is going to vomit you out on the day of judgment. 
Why do I speak these things to you? Is it because I hate you? No, it's because I love you. I want you to turn from your trust in yourselves, to turn from your trust in your own good works, and to turn unto Jesus Christ, who has the power to truly make you good. To turn from your lust, your love of sin, your love of music, your love of women, and turn unto you Jesus Christ to take away all ungodliness, all unrighteousness, to turn you from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to the power of God. Oh, don't you know that the blood of Jesus Christ has the power to cleanse you from all unrighteousness, to turn you away from all idolatry, from all your love of sin, your filthiness, your wretchedness before God? Oh, the blood of Jesus Christ will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. God says, come, let us return unto the Lord. He says he has torn, but he will heal us. He has broken, he has smitten, but he will bind us up again. But most of you do not want to experience the judgment, the discipline of God. Oh, you say, just as a stupid child would say to his parents, don't discipline me. You speak to God and you say, God, don't discipline me. Speak to my friends. And then God says, no, those who I love, I discipline. I chasten every son, every daughter who I love. But you guys spit in the face of God. You will not come to him that you might have life. You hate the discipline of God and you cast his law behind your back. And God says, because of that, you will experience the judgment God of God. God loves me. God loves Oh, uh, this woman says God loves her. And I agree with her. All day long, God stretches out his hand to you in love. He tells you, turn at my reproof. He tells you, turn at my instruction. I will make known my words unto you. I will pour out my spirit unto you. But you guys despise the love of God. Oh, you hate the blood of Jesus Christ that has the power to cleanse you from all sin. Instead, you trample underfoot the blood of God that God gave that you might be saved from sin, saved from iniquity, saved from lies, saved from lust. Yes, yes, exhibit A. You lift up sin. You take pride in sin. And that means you hate God. Oh, you say, no, I can hold on to sin in Jesus too. No, Jesus says you are either with me or against me. He says, you who serve sin are a servant of the devil. You ladies who serve your lust, you ladies who serve your sodomy, you ladies who serve your lies, you ladies who serve your music are haters of God. And God says he will repay those who hate him to their faces. This woman says she's a Christian and that she loves God. Prove to me that you're a Christian. Prove to me that you're a Christian. See, this woman cannot lift up the name of Jesus Christ. She cannot prove that she is a Christian because she hates Jesus Christ. She tries to go to the Old Testament and try to pick out parts of the scripture in order to show the parts of the Bible are wrong. But I lift up the name of Jesus Christ. I tell you that Jesus Christ saves from sin, that Jesus Christ became a curse for us, that we might not be cursed. But rather than turn unto Jesus Christ, rather than humbling yourself before the mighty hand of God, you lift up yourself against God. You claim to be a Christian, and yet you do not know God. You hate his word, and you hate the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for you. Oh, I know that you love lying. I know that you love that which God hates. God says that even though you knew the ordinance of God, that those who practice evil are worthy of death, you not only do the same, you hate God. And God says he will repay his enemies to their face. Oh, Jesus Christ loves to show mercy. All day long, Jesus Christ lifts out his hand and he tells you to turn. But what do you do? Oh, you mock God. You pee in the face of God. That's what you ladies.